A lot of people underestimate the power of a good broth or stock for cooking. It makes a great foundation for a lot of your other dishes. It's really high in nutritional value and it can be highly economical when you make it at home. And here to teach us how to make it is Stephen from Hands On Gourmet. Hi Stephen, good Hello. to see you again. Hello, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you for having me. So some people might not understand that there is a difference between a broth and a stock. Let's mm -hmm. talk yep. about what is the key difference between the two. Sure. Um, stock is mainly just bones and a little bit of meat and broth is bones with meat and or skin. So a substantial amount more meat for this one, yeah. Yeah, so when I'm making a chicken soup at home, I'm essentially making a chicken broth because it has both the chicken meat and the bone yep. in it, right? Yes. So let's talk about the fundamentals of how to make both. Sure. What are the other ingredients that you like to use? Well, I mean, first of all, so this this would be uh, a broth over here. Over and we'll here. just talk about since we're here. Yes. Um, when you're making the broth, you have options to flavor it. And typically you, you drink broth as an elixir or a tonic. Yes. Um, so here I have dried mushrooms, some um, kombu or dried seaweed and ginger for one flavor. Nice. Um, and then over here, I've got some fresh thyme, bay leaf and garlic. We can also put some leeks and some other vegetables in there to give it a a different kind of flavor profile. Mm -hmm. um, and with the broth, you would uh, season them both at the end because you're gonna drink it typically, or use it as soup, but like salt, amino acids, or something like that. Right here, I have a, um, a nice roaster chicken. Yes. If you cooked it, roasted, and then ate it, yeah. um, whatever's left, just throw it in the pot. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, you've got your onion, celery, carrot, which is your uh, foundational vegetables, um, mm -hmm. call them your pois. Yes. And um, that's that's a little bit of sweetness and some savory and all those other wonderful flavors. So there you have it. So yeah. mirepoix, yes, it's a fancy French word for the trifecta of onion, celery, and carrots. And they do sell it sometimes chopped up in the supermarket, yeah. right? I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, so you can yeah. buy it if, if you don't feel like going through the trouble of chopping it. But here is a, a different preparation, mm -hmm. slightly different, right? Yep. So what, I, what I've done here is uh, roasted the chicken with the vegetables just to give it a little more depth and flavor. I get it. Okay. So I, I like this, um, but that's not to say that you, you can do it without roasting it and it's perfectly fine. What's great is, you know, you could kind of think about this as sort of depression cooking, not to be depressed, so to speak, but yeah. depression era cooking where they used scraps, right? Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going back in time to a place where um, everyone used everything. Yes. So there wasn't a lot of waste. And also keep in mind like, so this costs like $2 worth of ingredients mm -hmm. to make about three or four quarts of finished chicken stock versus spending, you know, $7 for a box of that in the store. You're not kidding. Sometimes yeah. I've seen little jars for like eight to $10. Well, so the bone this, yeah, the bone broth, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, expensive. it's crazy. Yeah. So once we get the ingredients in the pot, let's yep. talk about how to prepare it. So we, um, we, we bring it up to a simmer. So you mm -hmm. don't want to bring it up to a boil, but to a, a nice, like smiley simmer. Okay. And as, as um, what's going to happen is some of the uh, fat is going to come to the top. Yes. And that's why we have this ladle to, right to kind of skim the top. Yep, perfect. I like to call it schmutz, but uh, <laughs> technically it's called what? Scum? A scum, fat. S scum, yeah, fat. Just, so you just skim it off you the just top, skim, Yeah, right? just skim it just like that. Yeah. Perfect. And then with the broth, um, you'll find because there's a lot more, there's skin and, and more flesh, you get more of that, that, that sh what'd you call it, schmutz? Schm schmutz. <laughs> so after everything's boiled, there's an, one last step, right? Yep. So um, we have a fine mesh strainer and another container to uh, strain the stock. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have one of these, a colander lined with cheesecloth or anything is fine. And if you have some extra chunks in it, that's okay. Perfect. So basically you wanna pull the bones out first and then pour the, the pour broth it. or stock through it. What kind of dishes can you use this with? Sauces, stews, uh, more stock. No, um, <laughs> um, when you're making risotto, rice, grains, couscous. Also like when you're sauteing vegetables, uh, hit it with a little chicken stock to give it a little more depth and flavor. Um, really nice. Fantastic. Thank you so much for this tutorial, Stephen. My pleasure. Yeah.